Hello and welcome. In our previous videos, we had seen how to create API definition wherein we had created a API path to get all products and a product wherein we had a get operation or the HTTP method which were part of these two tags that is products and the product. So also we had seen how to create the query parameters and the path parameter also to have a combination of both in a API definition. In this video, we'll learn how to create a post HTTP operation. In other words, how to expose our API as a post wherein the service consumer could send a request in the body. I will create a new path over here. Here I am making it as product. But this will be of type post. Duplicate mapping key it is showing. Uh, let's have it under the same parent. I uh, will add it over here. Now I need a description. This is to create products. Fine. Let me add this to a same tag that is products as we are going to create uh, products in a bulk in one go. So earlier after in a get method we were defining the response in but here along with the response we need a request body so that we will select the request body first. Now we are going to add the content. What is the content? I am accepting application json media type for this post method next thing is adding the schema so schema i will copy paste from here that is the type is array and items same thing this is the details what our service consumer has to send to us so it, there is an indentation issue let's indent it yeah now it looks good there is an error it shows responses is required okay we'll add a response over here we are in the right indentation okay now under responses if it is successful we are returning a 200 status here i'm adding the content now before adding the content we'll give the description success fully created all products so in the content we are giving this as application slash json so we have to define the schema for schema let me copy uh, one among this type i'm pasting it over here instead of array i um, will make use of object i'm removing the items of array Okay, let me indent this so here instead of id i will have a status and the status description status will be having a code like success and this will be of type status description is also a type string here it will have a message saying successfully created all products okay it's done so i uh, will verify we have added this post method to product stack let's expand this products uh, let me expand this post over here there are no parameters defined as of now uh, here if you see the request body it's accepting the array and in responses we are getting the status and the status description it is of the type object so like this we can create a post method and we can uh, club it under the single tag which deals with all the products so like this we can create api definition defining our post and get objects thank you for joining us in this video